Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is our weekly rundown of updates, events and beautiful things happening within the Blender community, Blender Foundation and also Blender as an app. And this week we have a couple of news that you guys will definitely find interesting. The very first one is that Blender 2.91 is finally released. This is the fourth major release this year and this one is pretty, pretty huge. So we did cover a full extensive video about that. And if you want to see more about the updates and a lot of things that were covered, link is going to be in the description so you can check it out. So within these updates, there were tremendous features that was released. And, you know, these were some of the things that a lot of people felt would come with 2.92. And some other persons felt that maybe this was just going to be within the experimental section. But it's cool to see that we have most of these things here. So we've covered a lot of videos about this one. So in case you want to see it, link to that is also going to be in the description. So with this said, let's also talk about something that actually transpired last week. So what happened last week is we said that Facebook is now one of the Blender development funders, like they contribute to the development fund of Blender. And, you know, several persons had their own thoughts about it. We covered a video about that owing to the fact that there were certain things that were supposed to be set straight as Facebook is only donating to Blender and Blender license for every reason would not allow Facebook interfere with the roadmap or with the development of Blender. So with that said, you can also go over to the link in the description and read more about it. So while we're talking about things that you might probably want to read about, AMD has released the brand new version of the AMD Pro Render 3.0 for Blender. Now this one is, this is, this is very nice. And if you have a very good AMD card or if you're running an Nvidia card, you can now easily use the AMD Pro Renderer. So the Pro Renderer supports both Nvidia and AMD cards. And this particular one is compatible with Blender 2.8, 2.81, 2.82, 2.83 and 2.9. So if you also have 2.91, you might actually just try it and see whether it works and for the compatibility is cross-platform so moving forward this is also coming with a couple of libraries you'll definitely find this one useful and of course a huge shout out to the folks at amd for consistently working on this particular renderer so with this said let's also talk about something else now what we're going to do now is to take a look at blender 2.92 and talk about some of the updates that are now available of course this week we don't really have so much updates about blender owing to the fact that 2.91 was being prepared for release but then there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind first off grease pencil now has an update to it which means that you can now easily export your grease pencil animations as pdf and you can load these things in different apps so maybe for example if you like working in tools like you know toon boom harmony or maybe you just want to open these things in photoshop you can now export your grease pencil load them into those apps either as individual files or as sequences and you can actually play with them directly in there moving forward there's also a couple of updates that we are seeing with the geometry nodes so today we covered a very tiny community friendly video about the geometry node and a couple of uh, stuff are now here so if you're working with the geometry node by default you know we actually use the boolean to join things together but that's changed because right now if you go over to add go over to where you have your geometry there is now a join geometry so with that join geometry you can now join things together i kind of feel like maybe this join geometry should actually have you know some extra plus sign just like we have plus signs here because having just two things is quite limiting so at this point you can now join two things together and you can actually play with them and get the best out of it now with that said if you also click on this button you notice that it's called geometry node editor and if you also click right here you'll notice is called empty it is now regarded as empty contrary to nodes that it was called before now moving forward we also saw a couple of updates from pablo as he went through to talk about the wet brushes now this wet brush is more like what you have in real life the brush is actually trying to limit the other one from getting into the other edges so back here in blender let's actually take a look at how this works so you know you have to get your paint on your paint brush which you can get from here and pablo has actually implemented this one right over here let me show you so by default you have your sculpt vessels and you have to make sure that you have you know the vessels color turned on 
And one of the things you'll notice if you right click, you can now simply make changes to the colors from here. With this, you can invert the colors so we can start painting. By default, once you start painting like this, all right, nothing serious is going on, but look right here. We have the mix. So you can actually turn on the wet mix and you can start having that. Actually, let's right click and get a very different color at this point so we can see that change. And maybe I should increase the strength so that make, that makes more sense. All right, so we can, you know, play with the wet color. And if we start doing that, you can actually notice that it's sort of smearing around. So let's also make another color. So you can notice that, okay, so you can see that, you know, that lifelike wet color thingy. You might also want to play with the, uh, the persistence and you can crank that all the way up. And let's see what persistence we have cool we can raise this one down and let's see all right so at this point you can see this this is this is very lovely so let's right click i love this new uh stuff which is also here right click and then we can make that right click select the green and you can you can do all of these cool nice features so a huge shout out to pablo for actually working on this one and making this you know something that is very very possible now with this one here there is also something else that pablo is working on so let's actually go ahead and talk about that so what he's working on right now is called the edge fire now this is actually going to be you know part of the edit face set which means that it's going to be one of those things that you can select from you know the face set drop down menu that has to do with growing shrinking and also deleting a particular geometry and right now this doesn't seem to be something that is implemented in blender 2.92 alpha as of now but probably by next week we will get to see this feature and of course we'll play with it meanwhile this particular implementation is an add-on that was existing before so pablo kind of brought this add-on right into blender and modified it so just in case you want to get it I'm going to put a link in the description where you can go ahead and get it now this add-on is available for blender so if you are you know you're excited about this feature you want to try it before pablo implements it then you can actually you know go ahead and see how this works and see if it's something that you would like to try so a lot of you guys are asking where do you download some of the things that we've talked about before first off you can download the daily builds right here all right if you follow the link in the description you can download the daily build and then there is also something else. For those asking for experimental branches, of course you can also get experimental branches, but what about those that need the main stuff? Most of you guys have been asking in the comments before, how do I stay updated? Why do I have to download all the time? You know, things like that. And the beautiful thing is we have an add-on today. Now, this is a wonderful, wonderful add-on that you can now simply use. So for those who like to download the stable version and also the experimental version, this add-on actually solves that problem. And if you want to see more screenshots about how this looks like, yep, you can now see these things right over here. So for those who would like to get it, you can simply also go over to the link in the description and grab those ones for yourself. Now, while we're talking about things that you can grab, the folks at Blender Foundation are also announcing that the store is taking a break. Now, this store is taking a break from the 30th of November all the way to 12th of December. So if you order anything, it might probably not be shipped to you up until that time. So you have to actually wait. And while we're talking about things that you have to wait for, the Blender Market sales is something that should be starting sometime tomorrow. But before then, there are a couple of tools that are now on sale and these ones are having a huge slash and we're talking about no other one than the ones from the folks at Polygonic. So if you need their material, you need their botanic, maybe the car library tool, or you need the render manager add-on or any of the things that they have here, you would see that they are giving out 33% off. Now. This is really cool because you can now save up 33% off. By default, the Blender market regularly give like 25% off, but now you can save up on this 33% off by using the coupon code 
pre-cyber. At the same time, you can also notice that for those who already own the Botanic Lite or any Lite version of their tools, you can get the full version at 66% off. So with this said, Simply Clothes is also giving out 33% off in case you want to purchase Simply Clothes. And then we have Scatter. Now the Scatter add-on version 4 is now out here and we're going to actually talk about this one sometime you know maybe after the sale is done so in case you want to get this you can also get this for 25 percent off you can read some of the new features and also improvements that have been added meanwhile we also see that smoja is doing the 25 percent off and we also have the instant mat doing 25 percent off so all of these things i'm going to put a link in the description so you guys can take a look at them and see which of them best fits what you're going for and of course a huge shout out to the folks at amd a huge shout out to you know the creators of this blender launcher so you can stay updated with your blender and for those who want to see updates about the brand new version of blender 2.91 and probably want to see a quick walkthrough about how you can work with some of these things and you know you want to see how these things are in action link to that video is going to be in the description so you can take a look at them and see how to get started with all of these so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this Peace.